things I shouldn't know. Good morning, Stephanie Cameraman, the Stock Whisperer, here with today's Daily Dark Cool Whisper of the Day for Thursday, March 3rd. All right, we're going to start with the SPY. We had a new Dark Cool level. Yesterday, 6.2 million shares at 429.96. So we're kind of coming up to this uh, resistance trend line on the SPY. All right, let me just uh, zoom out a tad and tweak. Oh, no, it's pretty good, actually. Yep. Yeah, so we're kind of in a, an interesting spot. The key level that I have been watching for a while now is this 441.83. To get my dark pool insights for the swing trade, I am bullish above 442. However, for the day trade, we're going to be bullish above 439.50. Looks like we might be coming up there right now. Uh, we tested that yesterday, you know, this 20 exponential moving average. So that's why on that second test, if we do go above it, well, most likely, let me just zoom in for you guys, just because you see where we are today. This orange 20 simple moving average and the green 30 simple moving average would be the next target, all right? Which is why I put this right here, so you understand what this means. 20 simple, 30 simple. All right, that is the trade set up for today. Bear below 435.50 for a retracement trade back down to the 4 or the 8 EMA. All right, let's go to the Russell. IWM. All right, nothing in front of the Russell. Um, bullish above 205.51. We haven't gotten there yet. And we're going to be bearish below 202. 50 for the IWM. All right. And we did have this recent print, 203.29. So you can see I'm bullish above it and bearish below it. It's pretty fresh. Let's go to the QQQs. All right. We're going to be bullish today above 347.50. We just went above it right now. Bear below 344.50 for the QQQs. Let's head on over to the future. The futures, let's say, well, we're going to be bullish above 4408 for the E-minis. We didn't get there yet. So we had some whale trades yesterday. Yep, I put them here for you. If you follow the whales, we like to follow the whales. Really big ones, 687 contracts. Thank you, Patty B, for taking a beautiful picture of that one yesterday for us. 4374.25. And then we had another one, 305, at that 4370 area. So, yeah, we're really watching that 4400. I gave you guys a notification, bullish above it. We had a couple of pivots this morning, so I went a little bit higher, 4408. Bear below 4362. Let's head on over to the NASDAQ futures. Bullish above 14250. Yeah, we just went there. And it looks, yeah, it looks like the NASDAQ is heating up a little bit this morning. And bear below 14.075. All right, let's get to the oil. The oil is what everybody's talking about. Yeah, can we go much higher? Absolutely. Yep. Today we're going to be bullish above 114.25. Bear below 112. All right, if we go below this Camarilla, then we can see a, a retracement trade. A lot of volume just came in now. So I was I was looking at this volume this morning, uh, but we just got a ton more. So hold on a minute. Uh, I'm going to be bullish above 115 at this point. Okay? Just based on this new volume, if you're trading oil, definitely watch that. Let's go to uh, gold futures. Gold is... In beast mode once again. All right, we're going to be, uh, oh, we stopped at this Camarilla a couple times. Bullish above 1945, that's been a key level. Bear below 1920. Yeah, I went pretty low down here. There's a lot of Camarillas. So, you know, these are the best trade set up right there to go long and here to go short. For me, this is a no, no trading zone. Let's go to Bitcoin futures. Let's see what's going on over there. It's a little bit in the red. 
We're going to be uh, bullish above 44,000. All right, let's see if we can break above this Camarilla. Bear below 43,000 all the way down here. All right, let's head on over to the individual stocks and see what is going on. All right, let's go to uh, Lucid first. Bullish above 2450 for a retrace. All right, and bear below 2380. So I'm always looking at the daily chart for the retrace. So retrace up to resistance, the 4 and the 8, or we're going to be going down. As long as there's enough room and there's no pivots involved, check out GLD. All right, starting to move up again. 181 is the key level today. We went up pretty close to it. 96 cents, couldn't break it. So let's see if it can push above that. Bear below 178.50. Let's check out Neo. Yeah, today bullish above 22.20. All right, and bear below 21.25. So I want to go above the 8 EMA today. This is our trade to that 15 EMA. Um, or we have a uh, dark pull at 22.63. I always put the dark pull right here for you. Okay, a lot of times they like to play print pong. So if you see this as a target, yep, they might be still selling there. That's where they were selling earlier. Uh, they were buying at 1870. Okay, big trade happened there. Okay, 1.8 million. Actually, need a space right there. Sorry about that. Yeah, so buying there, selling up top. We'll see what happens. Ford is on the list today. Bullish above 18.50. I just didn't like the bear below. It was really hard to find a level. Uh, there's a little scalping trade right here from 17.80 down to 17.50. But these are the dark pool prints below. All right, just watch out for these moving averages there. Best buy. Yep, looks like it is exploding this morning, right? We were bullish above 105.25, and I set this out earlier. And it moved, and I know there's a lot of people that trade pre-market, so fantastic. Uh, you're able to grab this, but if not, well, let's figure out the next level. It's not like that's the only trading level we can take today. We are above um, all of the pivots, so I, I would look at this 110. All right, that's a major level. You can see the volume came in. I talked about this yesterday in the training pit, right? Remember? Major levels, you guys. See how awesome that is to see we went right to 110. And so that's the first test, if we can break above it. In fact, let's just see if there's anybody selling there still on the book. Uh, nobody on the INET. And nope. They're not showing their hand. Doesn't mean they won't show up, but they're not showing their hand. All right, let's go to USO. Bullish above 77.20 and bear below 75.80 for a retracement trade. Volley has been one of my favorite swings for months now. Uh, we had that really big print, 3.6 million at 19. So 20 is a big level. I do expect sellers there, you know, but if we can close above that today, yeah, that would be uber bullish. But, you know, this is where eye training comes in, where you see um, there's, you know, there's people lined up to sell just before 20. So I expect the first test, we came close, people cut the line, we only went to 98. Um, but if it can break through, it could be a nice runner. All right, so we'll see. XLE on the list as well, bullish above 74, bear below 72. 50 for X L E N K R. <clears throat> this guy just had earnings this morning. People are stocking up on food. Bullish above 52. We did tag 52.50, well, two cents shy. So next major level to enter 52.50. All right, that's a great level to enter. R4 is at 53.17. That's why I stopped there. If we go above that, then. You know, the sky is the limit. There's really no moving averages or anything above that. So 
uh, we'll see. All right, there you have it. Those are your whispers for Thursday, March 3rd. Until next time, happy trading, everybody. My secret